Slap, slap, grab, choke, shut up, bitch, sex. No! <laughs> Don't call me a misogynist. What am I going to do? My private jet won't fly. My supercars won't start. All my beautiful women will no longer sleep with me. I don't give a fuck. And then they say they want to be respected for their ideas and they get their tits out because nobody gives a shit unless they're naked. I've had this argument with a feminist before. She's like, oh, well, we, we've never tried matriarchies. We've only tried patriarchies, blah, blah, blah. And I said, listen, bitch. <laughs> If, if 10 men and 10 women were on a boat and they got shipwrecked, the men would instantly start shelter, fire, hunting, yes. and the women would start doing the women things. When you get rid of all the crap and all the society and all the programming, people will revert to their gender roles. The reason we do that is because it gives us the best possible chance of survival. I will not administer CPR unless you're a hot female. If you're my friend, you just can't be a pussy. Well, I had a heart attack. Get the fuck up. If you're a hot female, I will administer CPR. Once I saved your life, you owe your life to me. Yes, Tate, please fuck me with five other women tonight. And you need to be more misogynistic. This woman just spilled my coffee. Bitch! <laughs> Bitch, bring some paper towels! That's right. I respect women as my equals. <laughs> okay. But the happiest really women on things. earth have children and a man who's paying the bills and their mothers. That's the really happiest true. people on earth. I guarantee it. Your, your mothers, true. ask your own mother, do you nah. regret having me? Literally. She's gonna say, of course not. not. You're the nope. best thing that ever happened to me. So now you're gonna sit here and you're gonna end your own Come bloodline? All your ancestors were out there surrounded by saber tooth fucking tigers <laughs> trying to survive on the streets out there in caveman days just to get to the final end where we have all the medical care and you can live in a nice warm house for your fucking selfish ass to say, no, I don't want kids. I'm too busy in the fucking strip club or going to fucking oh, Mallorca no. to, have a fucking, <laughs> to have a pina colada on the beach. It's absolutely insulting to your entire bloodline. Everything everyone above you has ever done and struggled for. All the times your grandparents went to work when they didn't feel like it, just for you to exist, for your selfish ass to say no. Me and my passions and my dreams and my shit drawings and my Instagram page <laughs> is worth more than ever having children. You're a selfish fuck. Fuck that, you should all have kids. I plan on becoming a doctor. So I'm just, my career. Your career. Okay. I'm passionate about it, so. A life without children is, is vapious and it's inane and it's pointless. And you may sit here and think that your career matters, but the truth is that your job will fire you out of whim and don't give That's a second, right. don't give a solitary That's shit. So and when you're 52 and you're past it with no grandchildren in a house by yourself and all your friends have grandchildren in this beautiful life and you're sitting there by yourself, do you think the fact that you could afford a few extra Gucci bags is going to genuinely make you feel happy? I was at my grandmother's 93rd birthday. I looked there. My grandmother had nine children because there was my father and and eight more they all had a bunch of kids blah 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 i stood there and I looked at my 93 year old grandmother and there was a room a whole room full with maybe 70 people that came from that one woman isn't that remarkable yeah. that nobody cared about her career nobody asked what job she did nobody asked how many times she went to the club nobody asked if she had time to go to festivals no you had 70 sentient beings including myself full of life from one woman who dedicated herself to being a mother and, and, and a good, and a good wife. That is beautiful. And if you sit here and genuinely think that you're going to work your ass off through your fertile years. And by the age of 54, you're not going to be suicidal alone with a cat, then you're dumb. 